anticipated that we would embrace each other's strengths and grow as a collective. But here we are. Brinda's excitement is now shared by Mehek. Stuti's confidence is seen in Sahani too. And the enthusiasm of our cup captains and middle school coordinators is embraced by all of us. Through council logo and real challenges, passionate 12 a.m. arguments, and meme wars, we have not only become a unified council, but a close-knit set of friends. To me, this has been the most special part of our tenure. Neeta ma'am and Isha ma'am, thank you for creating a school, a second home, that teaches us to truly dare to dream and learn to excel in every situation. Mr. Basu and our council teachers, Ms. Gandhi, Ms. Kaur, Ms. Malik, and Ms. Madhavan, thank you for fielding our last minute panic emails and for always being willing to have spontaneous calls with us. This year would not have been remotely possible without you. Our heads and teachers, thank you for always being there for us, for coming to our 6.30 a.m. events with bright smiles, and for accepting our sometimes outlandish requests like wanting to have pizza making sessions with grade two. You have fostered our spirit and our growth and our who makes DAIS a home to us. The security team, thank you for always making us feel safe, whether we were in school at 6 a.m. or 6 p.m. Mr. Bradley, Mr. Ojha, and the IT team, thank you for always helping ensure that our virtual events ran smoothly. And the housekeeping team, Thank you for always helping us organize our in-school events, especially House Cup. We are so grateful to all of you. To the most talented, dedicated, and resilient student body, thank you for trusting us, for letting us make mistakes and learn from them, and for giving us a sense of true purpose this year. Whether it was third grade Ayana and Ira messaging me an excited hello, or our own grade 12 not losing faith in us in April, I have never been more grateful for 1,100 of you. You are what makes DAIS a family. You are what makes DAIS my family. Our student council, you truly feel mine now. I'm almost possessive. I have loved every moment with you, from trying and failing to introduce Interhouse FIFA in council meetings seven times and hearing a mass uproar when the beyond talented core decided to make our own volleyball team to getting hundreds of cat emojis on our adorable cup captains teams group. Every moment has been new, unexpected, and oh so worth it. Core Council, where or oh where do I even begin? I've never been more thrilled to be driven up a wall by nine people. Raghav, Karina, Raj, thank you for being the backbone of our council and for keeping smiles on all our faces. Anirudh and Ariman, thank you for being efficiency. And our littles, Raina, Ishani, and Anishka, Thank you for being the little sisters that I always wanted and never before had. I really could not have imagined a better group of people to share this year with. Finally, Ahan, from not knowing you for 13 years to being each other's frequently contacted. Thank you for being my support system and for, and for being your idealistic, hopeful self. Thank you for assuring me constantly that we weren't going wrong and for co-opting my emojis and high-pitched capitalizations. I really could not have imagined a better person to not only share this privilege with, but also to finally become friends with. To the incoming student council, congratulations. We have so much faith in each one of you and are so proud. Today, I want to leave you with a few things to remember as you commence the best year of your lives. Every moment of this journey is worth it. Every person you meet will inspire you in some way or another and you will learn so much from every conversation with the people that you have around you. Grow together, form bonds that last, revel in your small victories, and most importantly, make memories. Getting to know my council has been one of the best parts of my tenure, and I hope that one year down the line, you will all be able to say the same. I have now come to the end of my time. Thank you for believing in me and for making me who I am today. I will forever cherish these memories and all the people who have helped me make them. I was honored to be your head girl. I would now like to invite your outgoing head boy, Ahan Bansali, to address you for the very last time.
Respected Chairperson Nita, ma'am. Vice Chairperson Isha, ma'am. Heads, teachers, non-teaching staff, and my fellow students, good morning. I remember seeing one of my first memories in the student council was eating the cake in the boardroom back in fourth grade. Unfortunately, that hasn't happened in a while, but Arzu's chocolate chip cookies before every interhouse event have more than sufficed. Entering this year, I was uncertain. The online platform didn't give us the flexibility with event planning we wished we could have had. It didn't give us the sense of interaction we wished we could have had. But 13 months, 20 days, and countless memories in, and I wouldn't have had it any other way. For me, experiences are what you make of them. And this year, I think we normalized an online tenure. Recently, everything's been a blow. From our final daemon to our last set of scheduled tests, which I'm not really complaining about, to our last teacher's day in school. But sometimes, amidst that blow, it's important to pause and reflect on what we've battled, overcome, and accomplished together, as a school, as a community, and as a family. Looking back now, two emotions surge most strongly, gratitude and pride. Neeta ma'am, Isha ma'am, thank you for this wonderful opportunity. Thank you for making me the person that I am today, and thank you for giving me the best childhood I could have asked for. Every memory with DAIS is one I will cherish forever. And as we embark onto this next chapter of our lives, I am certain that we will carry the values and ideals of this school well into the future. Isha ma'am, I remember you asking me how I was feeling when I first got this position. My answer had been excited and nervous. Today, as I step down, I still feel the same emotion, knowing that the legacy of the student council will remain alive. To my heads, it took a year, but I can confidently say that I remember the list of heads we have to email before every event and every permission more clearly than anything else. Mr. Basu, thank you for being our mentor and our friend. Mr. Shields, Thank you for showing up to every event, even at 6 a.m., with a smile on your face. To the international curriculum, national curriculum, and middle school heads, thank you for being so cooperative, even through the long and complicated event instruction documents we regularly sent. And to the primary heads, we have grown up with you, so thank you for keeping us grounded and focused. To my teachers, you are the reason we stress so much about Teacher's Day, because the Children's Day performances were the best we've ever seen. To the sports department, thank you for making our dreams of organizing sporting events in school a reality. And to my council teachers, Ms. Gandhi, Ms. Madhavan, Ms. Malik, and Ms. Kaur, thank you for being my first point of contact. We would not have survived this year without your support and your motivation. To our non-teaching staff, Thank you for running the engines of this ship we've sailed on. IT, not one of our online events would have been possible without your support. Security and housekeeping staff, thank you for being so cooperative every time we beg to come to school and for making this transition from online to offline so incredibly seamless. Student Council of the Year 2020-2021, I am proud that we were the first council to successfully conduct 25 events online despite the situation we were faced with. I am proud that we were the first council to stay resilient 14 months into our tenure. And I am proud that the Tiger House Vice managed to meme Arav on every possible occasion. This year, we gained something different. Planning and executing events online has equipped us with the priceless skills of spontaneity and creativity. Be it holding online chess on chess.com or conducting spoken word as an adaptation of dramatics. This year, we have been innovative and we have been unique. From asking more questions than we had the answers to at council meetings, to ambitious interhouse yoga proposals, you are the reason I woke up and wore my badge every morning, even though my camera angle couldn't capture it. I mean it when I say that this year wouldn't be the same without you. From Jaguar's consistent fights with core to Panthers' obsessive use of white hearts, from Tiger's one-man team 
to Lions just about doing better than core and cultural events. Student Council, I am proud of you and I am grateful for you. I haven't come to terms with the drastic change we're going to be facing in the next few months. And I am not ready to leave the sanctuary that DAIS is. But I know that even through all the change, our relationships will remain constant. And we will always be the council that made it through all the uncertainty the pandemic brought. So, Student Council of the Year 2020-2021, thank you for giving me the opportunity to learn from you and to grow with you. To my core council, where do I start? Karina, you will always be the member who swam to school but still couldn't plan into house swimming. Raghav, you will always be the person we go to when it comes to merging videos because somehow none of us know how to. Anirudh, you will always be the member who steers us on track and gets us to start working on an inter-house event proposal even after we've just finished the most intense discussion on esports. Aryaman, you will always be the member who we can message and expect an instant response from even at 4 a.m. Raj, you will always be the member who makes me laugh during my speeches and unsurprisingly, I am laughing now too. My littles, Anishka, Ishani, and Raina, Please stop being busier than IB students. I hope that the skills you took away this tenure will remain with you forever. We love you and can't wait to see you grow. Arzu, you are the reason I sent a few exclamation marks in my messages this year. Maybe deep down, now I really can use the sneeze and monkey emojis without constantly questioning my sanity. Be it our insanely detailed proposal for a sports day this year, our calls to cry, which never ended up happening, or our unwavering desire to do a legacy event. Perhaps only you understand the magnitude of emotion I feel today. From our constant complaining of an online tenure to our appreciation for how quickly we could just enter a third grade meeting and conduct a pizza making session, I am proud of how we've adapted and evolved. There are too many memories, but if I go on, your prediction of me crying on stage will come true. Thank you for messaging my mom to wake me up for 7 a.m. calls, and thank you for being my support system and most contacted this year. To the incoming student council, I don't think this short section of my speech will do justice to the memories you're going to make. What I can say is be prepared for uncertainty and make the most of every situation. Be spontaneous, be creative, and be unique. This year, once again, will demand new outlooks and initiatives for our school and the student body. We have faith in you and trust you to guide DAIS to excellence. A year ago, I was scared to make the student council WhatsApp group. That very first step symbolized leadership, responsibility, and accountability of something larger than myself, something I wasn't sure I was prepared to take on. But a year down the line, and I know I'd do anything to hold on to these final moments tying us back to these beautiful blue gates that we call home. Perhaps this is the last time I say meeting adjourned as this ship has reached its destination. Thank you. I was honored to be your head boy. I would now like to invite our vice chairperson, Mrs. Isha Ambani Piramal, to join us on stage to welcome the incoming student council and to share her thoughts with the student body. Good morning, students. This never gets old. Every time I'm on the podium, I feel both excited and nervous, um, having been here as a student and now as your vice chairperson. To begin with, I just want to express how excited I am, and I'm excited for three reasons. Can you all guess? Actually, don't guess. I'll tell you. One, because we're back in school. Who's excited to be back in school? <laughs> For how many of y'all is this your first time back since the pandemic? Raise your hands. Does it feel the same? No. Well, our hope is that over the next one year, we can transition to a back-to-school normal life like we knew it. And I think it's baby steps. And this is a really good first step where we're meeting in such a big group, but in a very safe and um, measured way. So thank you for being strong during the pandemic. Thank you for being good virtual learners. And thank you for coming today, taking all the precautions. I think 
you know, the coming year is going to be an exciting one, but it will continue to be challenging. So keep up the resilience, keep up the excitement, and we hope that we'll be able to see you more. Second reason I'm excited. Can you guess? New Student Council. How many of you all are part of the New Student Council? Raise your hands. OK, so this side is New Student Council. This side is Outgoing Council. We're so excited to have you all as the new student leaders. I think heads, teachers, students, let's give them all a big round of applause to welcome them. And third reason I'm excited. Can you see the building on your left? It's now almost fully ready. That's your new school. So this is the first time I'm seeing it, all seven floors in daylight. So I'm so excited. I came up on the stage, and I was like, what is that building? And then I looked closer, and I was like, that's our new school, almost ready. So I think we will be ready to move in 2023, Mr. Basu, or 22? 23. So you know, I think that is so exciting. You all are going to have a new home, and especially for the primary and middle school children, I think that is going to be a new home. And you know, I think for many of you all, this might be the first time that you all are seeing it. So I'm sure you all are excited. How many of you all have not seen the building in so many floors before? Yeah. Yeah, I was very excited. And I, th and I thought that you all would be excited too. With that, I just want to share a few thoughts. One is to our outgoing council. Um, I said this when we had the virtual announcing, but we're so proud of you. I think that you all have set a new standard in operating in a virtual world. Um, I don't think any council before has had the set of challenges that you all have had. And I think I can speak on behalf of the heads and teachers and the student body to say that you all have done an incredible job and have really made the school so proud. Thank you for all the time, all the effort, for all the new initiatives, and for your energy. I think you all, will, you all have laid blocks for the school that you all don't realize right now, but the school will be better off for. So thank you so much. And to the new coming council, congratulations. I've been in your place twice before, once as vice captain of Jaguar House and once as the incoming head girl. And I know how exciting it is. I know how many of you all didn't sleep last night or felt a little bit nervous, anxious, excited. Nobody? Yeah, I can see some hands coming up. It is, it is a really exciting time. I think this is the highest student honor that we give the students of DAIS. It is a big responsibility. It is a steep learning curve. And I'm so excited because you know student council leaders go on to start their leadership journey at DAIS, and it goes on beyond their school years. And these are your beginning steps, and these are your stepping stones. And they're going to be such formative years, rather such a formative year. And I just want to wish you the best of luck. I'm so excited for you, and I am sure that each and every one of you is going to make the school so proud, because I know how much you love the school. So congratulations and good luck. I can't wait for you all to get your batches, put them onto your shirts, and then wear them in school for the rest of the year. So once again, a big congratulations. And with that, I will, head it, I will hand it back to Arzu and Ahan to take us through the rest of the proceedings. Up, we have the Jaguar House.
टॉप कोऑर्डिनेटर वैष्णव गुप्ता हाउस कोऑर्डिनेटर ताहिर काचवाला वाइस स्पोर्ट्स कैप्टन नाविया ठोलाकिया Vice House Captain Gold, Maisha Chablani. Vice House Captain Boy, Harshvardhan Chaveri. Senior House Coordinator, Arna Songhai. House Sports Captain, Arushi Maheshwari. House Captain Goal, Anagha Srinivasan.
Cup Coordinator, Ria Sangvi. Cup Captain Aishwarya Swaminathan. Middle School House Coordinator Rudrakshi Suryavanshi. Vice Sports Captain, Parthiv Sriraman. Vice House Captain Goal, Krisha Singhal. Vice House Captain Boy, Neil Junjunwala. Senior House Coordinator, Malvika Murkumbi. House Sports Captain, Zain Bhanji. Unfortunately, Zain can't be present here today. House Captain Goal, Dia Peramal. House Captain Boy, Dhruv Bhalla. Now, for the Panther House. Cup Coordinator, Adi Pavul. Cup Captain, Devika Joshi.
Middle School House Coordinator, Vanya Lalwani. Vice House Captain Gold, Kiara Manyal. Vice House Captain Boy, Kesha of Mota. Senior House Coordinator, Prathamesh Muchalla. House Captain Goal, Anavi Call. Top Captain, Rehan Dhandia. Captain, 
और हब ठक कर वाइस हाउस कैप्टन बॉय शिव के नीर कैप्टन अर्जुन असुदानी उस कैप्टन बॉय विवान सुरक्षा वाइस स्टूडेंट काउंसिल कोऑर्डिनेटर परम दावड़ा स्पोर्ट्स कोऑर्डिनेटर सानिका दागा
स्पोर्ट्स कोऑर्डिनेटर साइशा गुप्ता स्टूडेंट काउंसिल कोऑर्डिनेटर सना बेरीवाला coordinator Ananya Srinivasan And now Your head goal for the year 2021-2022, Devika Kuthari. the year 2021 2022 shitaj seth Now like to request the incoming student council to please assemble in front of the stage. Incoming head girl Devika Kothari to come forward and take the oath. We, the student council of the Thiruvai Ambani International School, 
do solemnly swear to discharge to the best of our abilities and in all sincerity the duties with which we have been entrusted and promise to abide by the Student Council Charter. Your new student council for the year 2021-2022. Incoming council, you may now return to your seat. your incoming head girl, Devika Kothari, to address you for the very first time. Respected Chairperson, Mrs. Neeta Ambani, Vice Chairperson, Mrs. Isha Ambani Piramal, heads, teachers, and my friends. Good morning. On Monday, the 23rd of March, 2009, I stepped into our big blue gates the first time, yellow suns gleaming on my LKG uniform, a mix of excitement, curiosity, and anxiety. But most of all, fear at leaving my parents behind on the other side of the gates. And so for the next three weeks, I cried each morning before stepping into those gates again. Twelve years later, on 10th of February 2021, I stepped back into those gates for the first time after a year online, and my eyes welled up once more. But this time, with sheer happiness and relief. And I realized that over these 12 years, DAIS has gone from just being my school to my home. In the way the security staff greet me by my name each morning and ensure I safely cross the road each afternoon despite me being an 11th grader. In the way the housekeeping staff shower me with good wishes each time they see me. In the way sister asks me how I'm enjoying physical school every time I get a COVID test. And in the way teachers that don't even teach me stop to ask me how I'm doing on the staircases. This institution is my home. Home is where one feels safe, valued, happy, and supported enough to make mistakes. This school is the place where Ms. Tara Purwala ensured that I could participate in the primary march past the year I was cub captain, despite having a fractured leg, just so I didn't miss out on the moment. Where I was encouraged by my captains to step out of my comfort zone, and discovered that, in fact, I can be moderately successful at sports. Where instead of fearing leaving my parents, I slept soundly and carefreely at my fourth grade sleepover, the first night I spent away from home. I think I speak on behalf of the entire student body when I say that this is the place where I felt safe enough to dare to dream and make my mistakes so that I could excel. And for that, I am immeasurably grateful to you, Nita, ma'am, and Isha, ma'am. Thank you for creating an institution that is synonymous with home for over a thousand students, for fostering an environment where each individual can grow and flourish in their own unique way. To our heads and teachers, thank you so much for sharing our highs with us and standing by us through our lows, for getting to know us, not only as students, but as people, and shaping our lives just as our families have done. You have instilled in us the values of respect, 
humility, integrity, and compassion that are epitomized by our school. Words can't express how grateful I am to have been entrusted the opportunity to represent my home by you. To our incredible non-teaching staff, thank you for being the very backbone of this school and going out of your way to ensure that we have the happiest, safest days here. And I'm also so grateful to my parents for always having faith in me and tirelessly supporting me as I reached for my dreams. To the outgoing council, you have been my role models this year. The creativity and persistence with which you sustained our school and house spirit throughout this unprecedented year of uncertainty has been so inspiring to witness. Thank you for setting the bar so high. And I stand here today confident that we will do our very best to make you proud. The head girls of this school have always been a source of inspiration for me. Even now, it seems so surreal to me to be standing here where they stood, taking in this moment, entrusted with the responsibilities that they executed so exceptionally. And I promise that I will give my all to do this position justice. I could not be more honored and humbled to share this upcoming year with the motivated, dedicated, and brilliantly capable team that is our incoming council. I'm so excited to work with each and every one of you, to create new memories that we will cherish forever, and to uphold the values that our school stands for. I speak on behalf of all of us when I say that I am infinitely grateful to represent such a diverse, multifaceted student body. It is you that make our school community as special as it is. We are here to make this year memorable and meaningful for you. I encourage you to enthusiastically participate in Interhouse events this year, especially those you may not have participated in before. Discovering new interests through events has been so special for me, and I hope to share that with you this year. Please feel free to come to me or any of us at any time if you have any suggestions, any questions you'd like to ask, or even just to tell us how your day has been. We are here for you. Today, I stand here much like I stood before our school gates 12 years ago, a mix of excitement, anxiety, and curiosity for what this next year of change will hold. But most importantly, filled not with fear this time, but pride at receiving the opportunity to represent my school and live my biggest dream. I am so incredibly honored to be your head girl for the year 2021-2022. Thank you. I would now like to invite your incoming head boy, Shitij Seth, to address you for the very first time. Honorable Chairperson, Mrs. Neeta Ambani, Vice Chairperson, Mrs. Isha Ambani Piramal, Heads, Teachers, Non-Teaching Staff, and my fellow students and friends. Good morning. I remember my first day as a student of DAIS. It was the start of pre eighth, and there I was. A short, nervous boy, hair combed neatly to the side and clutching tightly onto my school bag, not really sure where I was supposed to go or what I was supposed to do. Following a group of students into the auditorium, I soon found myself awkwardly standing alone in the middle of the room surrounded by groups of friends reuniting after their break. As I stood there, seconds turned to minutes. But just as my apprehensions were reaching their peak, I felt a small tap on my shoulder. Hi, I'm Vihan. What's your name? I turned to find an enthusiastic boy holding out his hand with the biggest smile I'd ever seen. And I smiled back and thought to myself, maybe, just maybe, everything was going to be OK. From that moment on, DAIS became a second home. And everyone, the friends that I spent each day with, 
the teachers and heads that put in hours of work for our sake every day, and the security that went out of their way to greet us each morning became family. I want to thank our chairperson, Mrs. Ambani, and Isha ma'am for creating this environment of acceptance and support that I have come to associate with our school. Every opportunity we are provided, from MUN and Round Square to the multitude of activities in the form of interhouse events, give us a chance to explore our passions and develop into better students. And the values that school inculcates in us help us develop into better people. For everything school has done for me, I'm eternally grateful, and it makes me proud to call myself a student of Dhirubhai Ambani International School. A few months after that first Priyat encounter, I found myself back in the auditorium as I attended my first investiture ceremony at the AIS, listening to Ariman and Diva deliver this very speech. A year later, standing at the back of the stage, I watched as Vikram and Shania took the floor. And then last year, I sat in my room at home, watching Ahan and Arzu through my laptop screen. A new setting each year, with the same feeling of inspiration and pride that it fueled in me. The same thought that one day I wanted to be the one standing at that podium, evoking that feeling of inspiration and pride in students like me. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to inspire and be the face of the school that has come to mean so much. Perhaps one of my favorite things about DAIS is that the pride and passion is so clearly visible in each and every member of the school. And it is this pride and love for the school that has always motivated me to work hard and will continue to motivate me to work hard and represent the school to the best of my abilities. I promise to always put my heart and soul into every task that comes my way. What I've come to realize is that what matters more than anything else is the type of person one is. I want to thank all my teachers, because the only reason I'm up here today is that your constant guidance has helped shape me into the person that stands before you. I want to thank my friends, who have always stood by me through thick and thin. I want to thank my parents and my sister Barkha, who have been a constant pillar of unwavering support at home my entire life. Lastly, I want to thank the batches of 2021 and 2022. More than just my friends, you've been like my older siblings. Not always the most lovable, but invariably there for me when I needed you. For all the support, laughs, and memories, thank you. To the outgoing council, you persevered in what was perhaps one of the most challenging years in the history of the school, and that will always be a great inspiration. I'm sure you're tired of hearing it by now, but we really do have some big shoes to fill. To the incoming council, I can't express just how excited I am to work with each of you. I don't think there is a more able and deserving group that could have been chosen, and I'm proud to stand next to each of you today. Lastly, to the student body. You are what gives the student council purpose. We are not above you, but a part of you, because it is your enthusiasm, your passion, and your constant participation that makes us whole. So if you ever have any ideas or questions, know that you can approach any one of us at any time. As we finally start to emerge from these difficult times and phase back into regular school, we enter a new segment of our lives. This may be challenging, but I prefer to look at it as an opportunity. An opportunity to show our enthusiasm, an opportunity to recreate old memories, and an opportunity to start afresh. This period has shown us not to take anything for granted, and so I encourage each of you to use this opportunity to explore new passions and discover new talents. Because only if you dare to dream can you learn to excel. Thank you. I'm truly honored and proud to be your head boy. I would now like to hand over to Mr. Basu. Hi. Good morning uh, once again. Yesterday evening, we received uh, the certificates for uh, the Outstanding Cambridge Awards. Last year, in 2020-21, we had only one exam session, which was in March 21, uh, March 2020, and we received those certificates. There are two students who actually topped 
uh, India and the world. And may I request Ms. Isha Ambani to please come up on stage and give out these certificates. So we had one India topper, and which is none other than Devika Kothari, who topped India in Hindi. And the second topper was Dhruv Bhalla. Dhruv topped the world in international mathematics. Congratulations to both of them and to all the students because these were the only two subjects that the students appeared for in the last academic year. Thank you and over to you guys. May I now request everyone to please stand up for the school song and national anthem.
and 9 and then 11 then outgoing council followed by incoming council